a whoop board on a full five inch and I'm gonna plug in a full 1300 milliamp 6S battery and I'm doing it on camera in case it catches fire. <laughs> The first question that came to mind when I opened the box of this thing was, why does this even exist? Yeah. So this is a one inch by one inch mount whoop board that is designed to function on a full five inch setup. That means full 2306, 2207, 1800, 1900 KV motors on 6S from a whoop board. And that is pretty insane. So. I have been going through every single, since since I started using whoop boards for basically open prop quads, just basically using them for more than they were ever intended for. I don't know if I was the first person to do it, but uh, that's just what seemed to catch on. These companies took it upon themselves to develop the setup um, <laughs> into insanity, into this point. And ever since they kept getting more and more powerful, I started testing whether these boards could be used for larger and larger quads. And now it's the norm in my Cinewhoop, my Cinewhoop platform and it performs beautifully there. I use it in four inch and I use it in very light five inch. I have tested every single whoop board that is high powered in existence. And I found that it doesn't matter whether they say they're 6S, 4S, 20 amp, 30 amp, 40 amp. I have not found a single board that can actually perform just like any other setup, any other electronic setup on full five inch. And that's for a number of reasons, one of which being the board is itsy bitsy. One of the biggest challenges with something this small is routing that much power. This is 100 plus amps of power through a board this small without disrupting all the electronics and still having it function properly. Now, if you compare it to a typical 30 by 30, ESC, which this is the Hollybro Techo 32, which we actually just got in the store. This is considered one of the very best ESCs on the market. It's 30 by 30, and you can see that they, they have even gone with, which is becoming the norm these days, they have gone with a secondary board on top of the board, which houses all of the actual computing components, and the main board is just intended for routing the power so that you have nice clean power routing and they have a bunch of caps on there to appropriately manage the noise that's coming off the motors the electronic noise that's coming off the actual motors that go through the ESCs and feed back into the whole system and screw with all of the electronics now this board this board this this very high end board here is is this this one is intended to perform to the same level as this board this board is dedicated to just ESC performance and this board does everything and that's not just everything there's two versions actually one version oh, drop my thing my pointer one version is the um h7 one version is the uh, the f7 version um, both of them are designed to run full five inch full five inch setup full five inch racing setup specifically and um there are differences between the boards other than just the esc sorry just the processor the the actual fets are a little bit different you can see there's little metal squares on top of the fets here and there aren't on this on the f7 one the f7 one is on the left uh, the h7 is on the right and um the metal fet version is supposed to be a little bit higher end supposed to handle a little bit more everything but both of them are designed to handle full five inch also, both of them have barometers. There's the little hole dot here, and then there's this little hole dot here. These are both barometers on board. I assume because they expect people to be using these for the 4-inch 
long range things that have GPS. And so having a barometer on board also helps you um, have like um, return to home in case of emergencies and things. So I'm glad they thought of that. Also, I want to point out that pretty much every single manufacturer that has made a whoop board has totally botched the layout of the board, which is quite annoying. But iFlight has actually done a pretty decent job, in my opinion, because there's just so much you can do with something that's so small. They, the, the, the motor pads are really easy to solder. The, um, these pads here actually break out the UARTs nicely. There is actually a UART on the corner here as well. They've kind of taken advantage of the whole board. And this connector here is designed to connect directly to the DJI system, which is super nice and super clean. Also, both boards have black box on board, which is another feature that's totally missing from other whoop boards. And they can do 96K communication rate on BL Heli which is insanity but not on full five inch on five inch they only do 48k they only recommend 48k so i never expected this kind of a board to exist however i always wanted it to exist and i assumed when i started my journey that these 30 amp 6s boards that were being made by other manufacturers could actually function on full five inch but through testing i found out that they couldn't and this frame was actually designed before I mean, I ever got my hands on those crazy wood boards. I've had this design for quite some time now. It's a full five inch quad. It's a 15 millimeter build height. It's designed for one board, a full all in one board. And it's got a DJI in the back here as well. And um, I've actually abandoned this particular design and moved it to a 20 millimeter build height because there was just not an all in one board that would actually work on full five inch. So I just gave up. And now that there is, I'm still gonna give up because this board is $90 that's just too much money for me to put into one board and expect it to have high longevity and very good um, reliability so maybe it will we don't know yet what people are going to buy obviously they're going to buy them is they're going to test them we're going to get more information from users that actually use the board but it is not a cheap board and um we'll just have to wait and see how people how people do with the board overall the performance is there i mean the quad is default Betaflight 4.2 on 48K ESE with RPM filtering, nothing else. These are the Wasp motors, the 22.6 by 6.5. I love these motors. I think they are phenomenal motors. If I was a racer, I would use these motors because they perform am amazingly and their weight is fantastic for their level of performance. Um, this is the Gen Pen 51433 props. Those are my favorite props right now, even among the folding props. These ones are just more efficient and just perform overall better than pretty much anything else that I've tried up to up to this point. And the quad performs great, even on total default. It's not perfect. And I've run about 20 packs through it. So it's kind of amazing that this board is holding up. However, that being said, I don't know if it's gonna, I, don't, I, just, I just don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if it's gonna maintain this, this level of performance indefinitely. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna have the reliability that I'm looking for. I mean, this board has almost no capacitors on it. It's got nothing on this thing. It's, it's kind of a miracle that they've been able to achieve this level of performance at such a tiny board. Now, I eventually assumed that manufacturers would start making flight controllers that are whoop mount and ESCs that four in one ESCs that are whoop mount as well because if you take a look at this 30 by 30 board there's a lot of empty space on this board it, it doesn't look like it would be that difficult to just shrink the mounting holes without really changing anything else so it would just make sense to move it to a whoop platform and if we did move to the whoop platform then we could just use one platform from whoop the smallest of the smallest all the way up to seven and eight inch and we wouldn't need to change anything and there wasn't would be no ambi ambiguity to how any electronics get mounted so i had to make this video because this is quite the impressive achievement by iflight i hats off to them for being able to pull this off i don't know how it's going to perform long term i don't know if it's worth 90 dollars yeah, you could get a pretty darn good stack for $90 that have arguably better ESCs. I, up to you. I, I'm just very intrigued by this board. So I had to just demonstrate the fact that it can perform to an, a very impressive level. Take care. Floss your teeth. Hope this was as interesting for you as it was for me. Bye-bye.